and we could set the seeds everywhere. That's not what we want. <laughs> so we want to only be able to set our seeds on these dirt tiles. And that's where custom variables come in. Um, in order to get access to the custom variables, you need to click into this tile set and here. So we're going to have, we're going to add a new element and it is going to be can place seeds. And the type is going to be a Boolean because it's going to be true or false. So we're going to set this up for our dirt tiles and we're going to use this paint property and terrains. Uh, actually not terrains, <laughs> this custom data, and we want it to be true, and we're just going to paint it on. We could place the seeds in all of these. Actually, not in this one. Yeah, cool. Alrighty. So now, when we click on a tile, we're retrieving this custom data. And if you look in here... There's not a lot of information on how to get this custom data because you don't get the, uh, the custom data from the tile map. You get it from a tile. And that's why we actually need the tile data, which is here. You'll see that this, I think, is the only method that returns that tile data type. And if we click in here, this is the tile data information and it has a function get custom data and that's what we want and this layer name corresponds to this so we need that tile data so let's make a variable for the tile data and let's set the type as tile data and so we'll get we'll use the tile map get um forgot the name of it get cell tile data <laughs> get cell tile data okay so the layer and remember we're placing the seeds on layer two but we want the tile data for the layer under it so for layer one on the ground layer so we're going to use the ground layer and the coordinates is this tile mouse position. Use proxies, we don't need to do that. Okay. But the thing with this custom data is not all the tiles are going to have this custom data. So some of them are going to return null. So if it returns null and then we're trying to get this custom data, it will be an error. So first, we need to check if we're actually getting this tile data. So if we're actually getting the tile data, we want to get the custom data. And it's best to use um, a variable up here, can place seed custom data. And let's make it equal to this, just so we don't mis misspell it. And we'll put that here. And then we'll make a variable, can place seeds. We'll set it equal to this. So if this variable returns true, because remember, we set it up, these are that's true, these are all false. So if that returns true, we want to set our cell. Else, if can place seeds is uh, false, then we want to print can't place here. Okay, and let's let's see if if we don't get any tile data, let's print no tile data, and let's run it. So you see, we could place the seeds here, but on the grass, it says can't place here. And on the water, it says no tile data. Cool. And that's the, there's no tile data because we're looking at the ground layer 
and there's no ground layer here because the water is on the water layer. So that's why there's no tile data. And there you go. That is how you can set tiles programmatically and how to use custom data layers and custom data. So I think that's enough for episode three. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you next time. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, consider joining the Patreon where I release demo and source code for the projects behind the scenes and get early access and your name in the Godot book I'm working on. I also stream game development on Twitch. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.